In this overview, we explore the full range of popular natural cures discussed in Chapter 12 of Natural Health Sciences, a comprehensive guide by Rasit Dink. The resurgence of interest in natural medicine has sparked global dialogue on how these remedies function, whether they're effective, and how they can be used safely alongside conventional treatment. We begin with acacia fiber, a soluble prebiotic known to promote gut flora diversity. Acacia's fermentation by intestinal bacteria supports not only digestive balance, but also systemic immune modulation and anti-inflammatory effects. Used regularly, it aids in managing constipation, regulating blood sugar, and potentially supporting weight loss. Next, aloe vera is widely recognized for its dermatological uses, specifically in treating burns and minor wounds. Its gel contains polysaccharides and antioxidants that promote tissue regeneration, reduce inflammation, and provide antimicrobial protection. Some studies have shown aloe may also aid in reducing signs of skin aging and improving hydration. Almonds, though not a cure in the traditional sense, are a staple of cardiovascular wellness. Rich in vitamin E, healthy fats, and fiber, they've been shown to lower LDL cholesterol and support vascular integrity. This makes them a functional food with preventive therapeutic benefit. We then move to artichoke, one of the most scientifically interesting plants due to its inulin content and liver protective properties. Artichokes promote bile production, enhance fat digestion, and can lower cholesterol levels through their influence on hepatic pathways. Ashwagandha, a traditional adaptogen from Ayurvedic medicine, has a growing body of literature supporting its use in anxiety, sleep disorders, and adrenal support. Randomized trials show cortisol reduction, improved sleep quality, and enhanced cognitive performance in stressed individuals. Bee pollen is a more controversial entry. While it contains vitamins, enzymes, and amino acids, the variation in source plants makes standardization difficult. It may improve energy levels and immune health, but individuals allergic to pollen should avoid it. Berberine, by contrast, has robust support in metabolic health. Studies confirm its ability to lower blood glucose, HbA1c, and lipids, rivaling medications like metformin. It exerts insulin-sensitizing effects, enhances glucose uptake in cells, and reduces inflammation. The next agent, beta-glucan, a polysaccharide found in oats and barley, is well documented for its dual action on lipid metabolism and immune function. It stimulates macrophage activity and reduces LDL cholesterol by binding bile acids in the gut. Birch leaf, though lesser known, offers diuretic and antiseptic effects and is sometimes used in natural urinary tract support. Bitter melon, rich in compounds like carantan and vicine, has shown mild hypoglycemic effects, particularly in small trials among diabetic populations. However, larger, more rigorous studies are needed to confirm efficacy. Black cohosh, once hailed for menopausal symptom relief, now yields mixed results in trials. Some studies show mild improvements in hot flashes, while others show no difference from placebo. Liver toxicity remains a concern requiring medical oversight. Black seed oil, derived from nigella sativa, contains thimoquinone, a powerful antioxidant with anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties. Studies support its use in asthma, diabetes, and hypertension, though dosage and formulation remain critical. Blueberries, famed for antioxidant anthocyanins, are linked to cognitive health and improved vascular function, with trials showing slowed cognitive decline in older adults. However, claims about significant visual improvements require further substantiation. Cranberry, widely used to prevent UTIs, is backed by evidence that shows it may inhibit bacterial adhesion in the urinary tract. However, it is more effective for prevention than active treatment. Finally, barrage oil, rich in gamma-linolenic acid, GLA, demonstrates anti-inflammatory effects beneficial in skin disorders like eczema and psoriasis. Overall, these remedies illustrate how natural compounds, when validated by science, can serve as effective components of a comprehensive health strategy. However, safety, standardization, and proper dosing remain paramount. Just as pharmaceuticals must pass rigorous trials, natural remedies must be used with evidence-based caution and in collaboration with healthcare professionals. This chapter encourages a shift in perspective, not toward blind acceptance or rejection of natural medicine, but toward critical integration based on research, transparency, and personalized care. Furthermore, the diversity of these natural treatments highlights a broader truth that the human body responds not only to synthetic interventions, but also to biologically active compounds found in nature, provided they are properly understood and responsibly applied. As researchers continue to investigate the pharmacological properties of plant-based agents, 
it becomes increasingly clear that many natural cures operate via mechanisms that align with established biochemical pathways, such as hormonal regulation, antioxidant defense, and inflammatory modulation. What sets modern integrative practice apart is its insistence on aligning tradition with evidence, embracing the historical value of natural remedies while subjecting them to the same standards of scientific scrutiny as conventional medicine. This approach not only enhances safety and efficacy, but also builds a sustainable model of healthcare that prioritizes prevention, personalization, and long-term wellness. Chapter 12 ultimately invites both clinicians and patients to approach natural cures with informed curiosity, acknowledging their potential, respecting their limitations, and above all, prioritizing rigorous, data-driven decision-making. For more insights, we'll continue to examine additional remedies in the next video. Thank you for watching. We encourage you to subscribe to our channel for more content at the intersection of science and natural medicine. Together, let's shape the future of healthcare.